everyone, and welcome back to the project. I'm Werewitch, and today's guide is on werewolves or cursed forest hunters, where to find them, and a couple of other places to look for that 100% werewolf that you've been hunting for. Let's get to the video. Whether or not you're trying to complete your 100% blood cellar, wanting to get those loot bonuses for servant missions in the Cursed Forest, or you just want a werewolf because it's awesome, we're going to attempt to help you in the right direction. Here at the project, we think the best place to get started is at Gracefall Village. There are some other spots that are a little lesser known, so stick around and we'll get to that later on in the video. Let's go ahead and check out Gracefall now. Okay, we are currently just outside of Gracefall Village. We've got a castle over here for easier farming. If you do not know where Gracefall Village is, it is in the northeastern part of Dunley. It is located right here. Let's go ahead and head over there now. Okay, once you're over here, make sure that you're taking these guys out if they do not meet your expectations. They should respawn in about 10 minutes. Um, normally what we do is we come back after each daybreak uh, after we clear the village, of course, there are two reasons for this. One is that they're much easier to kill when they're in villager form or human form. And uh, the other one is, is if you do find one that you like, you cannot dominate them or use uh, dominate human if they are in werewolf form. So uh, be mindful of that. Let's go ahead and we're gonna gather them all up and wipe them out. What we're looking for is that red glow when something is higher than 90%. As you can see, they're gonna start aggroing onto us. We're gonna try to wipe damn near the whole village at once. We've run this route so many times. And if I don't even see, if I don't see them glowing red, I don't even mess with them anymore. There we go. We've got this lovely cloud coverage right here let's get these guys oh didn't get the pierce that's all right all right so there was nothing there worth keeping but that is pretty much how we do it. Okay, if you do find a Cursed Forest Hunter that you do like, um, make sure you get them back over if you were wanting to have them as a servant and you'll want to convert them just like you would any other servant in a servant coffin, then you're gonna wind up with something along. These lines, as you can see, Cursed Forest Hunter increases the amount of loot secured from successful hunts in the Cursed Forest by 20%. If you decide to imprison your Cursed Forest Hunter, for that sweet two for one blood type, you'll get both worker and creature blood. You'll just want to tap the worker during the day or the werewolf for creature at night. Witch, hey, psst. You, you didn't read the statement. Oh my God. You may have noticed that Harry is not in this video. He'd like for me to read the following statement. Due to my past traumatic experiences in connection to Gracefall Village, my contract states that I am allowed two personal days annually. I will be exercising this privilege and would like my privacy to be respected at this time. D dude, you're, you're right there. Just come over here. No, I'm, I'm off work. Moving on, there are two other routes in Dunley for wandering werewolves. We took the time to track them. It was tedious to say the least. Let's look at that now. Okay, so we're gonna have this in full screen right now. Uh, you can always pause this for reference later on, screenshot it, do what you need to do. Uh, we're gonna do our best to explain these two routes. These are in addition, of course, to Gracefall Village. Uh, let's just get right into it. So we have one werewolf on the west side of Dunley. And as you can see, this is the route here. This is a turnaround down in the southern corner here. 
They normally travel up through here. They stop off over in this village, just to the east northeast side of the horse track here. They will come back out, continue to head north, take a left. They go in there and try to pick a fight. They come back out, head up this direction, go into here. Lots of trouble in this area too. If you're trying to guard them, be careful in this one. Lots of people in this camp. They do a turnaround before heading into Silverlight or Brighthaven. Turn back around, head up this way, up north, and then go back down south. They take a right here, and then head back down and repeat the process all over again. So they're going to dip back into theirs, they're heading back down, dip into there, head back down, turn around, and then start that process all over again. Once again, feel free to pause, rewind, do whatever you need to do. Took a lot of time um, stalking these guys and figuring out their exact path, but that's the west side over there. Okay, on for the east side route, the east werewolf. There is a turnaround over here to the east of the iron mines. They're going to head along this path like so. South near the way gate. There's some farms over here. Horse farm, I believe, right there. They're going to head up this direction. Now, all kinds of chaos can break loose. We had multiple issues here and right here while we were following them. Lots of people inside of this camp that were causing issues. But once again, they're heading up north like this. They do not turn left. They keep heading up. And then here you're going to run into another problem. You've got two guards right here on the path. Two more guards right here on the path. Lots of people in here. Archers, flame archers, torch bearers. You've got Draculin that are pouring in from the east. There's all kinds of problems here. So if you're trying to keep, if you find a high blood and they're in werewolf form and you're trying to wait for them to get to human, uh, I would advise you to get in front of them, get ahead and take out this area. Um, I would jump ahead when they're about right here-ish and knock all this out. Okay, so they're going to continue to travel north. They take a left here, right past the arena. They like to dip down. There's a dock up here that they like to look at. Then they're going to come back out, up into here, try to get into some problems. They come back out. They're heading south again. They go over here. They take a look at the door uh, of the, uh, the keep there, the bastion. I believe that's what that is there. And then they come back out. Uh, take a peek into this area, turn around again, continue ahead of south. They go into the abandoned farm here, down, and instead of circling around this way like you think that they would, they do not. They turn around and they start the process all over again. So then they take a right into the abandoned farm and then back up and through there, and then they'll hit up that. They'll go up this way, peek into there, and then start heading back this direction again, back down south. All right, so that is the two routes. I hope that that helped you out. That was a lot of work. A lot. Hope that it helps you guys. Since you can't use Dominate Human on a Werewolf, if you find one that's worth subduing at night, you'll want to keep tracking and protecting them, since there are other NPCs that patrol on these routes. Once it turns to day, that's when you can nab them up. It might bear mentioning that I have witnessed patrols attack these guys when they are in human form during the day, they are far more easier to kill during that time, so be mindful of that if you use this method. Also, just a quick bit of information about our latest playthrough. We did not come across a single 100% werewolf. I personally have cleared out Gracefall Village so many times, I stopped counting. My clanmates have also wiped out Gracefall on numerous occasions. I've ran the west and east routes, clearing the wandering werewolves multiple times, and still nothing best we've seen this playthrough is high 90s. The spawns are random, it's all RNG, just keep trying and may the best of luck be with you. This video helped you out or you enjoyed watching it, maybe slap that like button, leave us a comment, question, or even subscribe to the channel. We've got full gameplay episodes, tips, and more guides, videos just like this one for the games we play at the project. Which, did you see my Misfits hoodie over at Grace's while you were there? No, Harry. 
trying to do the outro, ma'am. Did you see her? Was she with Finn? No, Harry, and I didn't see your hoodie. She's got my iPad, you know. Had all my games on it. I don't know what to tell you. Just go ask for her. Hey, if any of you guys are out and about and you see my stuff over there, will you let me know? Everyone, you do not have to do that. It would only encourage him. See you later. Thanks for watching. I think it's time to move on, buddy. Hey, I'm still healing over here. How about I buy you a new hoodie? You can't replace that hoodie. I got that at a concert years ago. Glenn spit a big green loogie on me. Thick. Never been washed. <sighs> and what about my iPad? It's got my high score Fruit Ninja on it. On second thought, maybe you don't want to go looking for a werewolf if this is what you have to look forward to. Wait a second. Are you talking about me? No, why would I ever be talking about you? You better not be talking about me. I'm your meal ticket to Popular Town. No one watches these videos because of you.